Hey guys, when we left off, I was in the middle of nowhere, and now I'm just going to run on driving until I get to the next place, so yeah. Um, I am going to pause for one second and attempt turning my render distance up. Stupid one point three glitch. Maybe mobs can't spawn when they're sufferings. <coughs> Hopefully. That would actually be pretty useful. Do that sometime be bad. Okay, I don't have that much food, but I need to get the next one really quick so I can keep spending my life. One of the main things I want to do is get to the nether. I, I think I should make that one of my challenges. Because if I um, go to the villages, chances are they'll have some obsidian if there's a blacksmith. I know this is going to drain my hunger really quickly, but I need to find forage. I'm surprised the river isn't going down. I am a normal. I'm not sure what I'm going to really do. But, you know, peaceful. So I don't know why the river isn't going down. Okay, God. This is going to take a while. Um, I'm just going to like come back when I um find village so um yeah I will see you guys then okay guys I have been running for like forever and I have not found a village yet so I'm going to do something a bit different I might go try and find a village later but right now I'm going to build a house and I'm assuming you guys know, since this is going to all be a forest later, I'm probably going to build my house on top of one of the trees. Let me make a tree house. This tree should be good. I need to get this one though. Yeah, I had to start a farm because, as you can see, I've eaten up most of my carrots and I have only have a little bit of bread left. Sorry about that. My brother came in. Anyway, where was I? Okay, I'm guessing that this tree can be mined. Basically, what I'm trying to do is get some wood so I can make ladders to go to the top of the tree. And my first. Oh god, I can't make a farm, can I? The only way I'm going to be able to get food is to find a village or to um get what the hell just happened god trees are growing on me you know what actually screw it i need food and the best way to do that is to find a village i hope i'm still walking in the right direction oh and by the way just so you guys know um 
the way I don't lose track of which direction I'm going in is I will always walk in the direction um, of the sun facing or I'll just get um, cobblestone so I can go north because cobblestone has a, an L shape on it and it will always face north which can be very useful as you can see it's not as easy to move around on the train when there's trees everywhere but hopefully I can get to a chunk before they start growing oh and the reason none of the trees were growing before was because it was night I never really noticed that but that's why they weren't growing okay good We'll cast the trees and now I can just run. I'm probably just gonna keep on recording this because I don't have to edit it out again. I already have to edit out a lot of stuff. For some reason, I was pull up and sprinting as fast as I could. If I really do start to run out of food before I reach the next village, I'm just going to have to start breaking leaves and hope I can get apples. Because walking without being able to sprint to get from village to village is not a good idea. God, I mean, seriously. A raised mini map would be very, very useful in this, but most of you would probably consider, consider it cheating. I don't because they allowed in the greens and everything, but also I'm pretty sure I can't download it with a snapshot. Um I am going to do another series like this and I might have actually mentioned this in another video I've forgotten. But I get to cheat and give myself a few items. But it's on a super flat land with one layer of sand. And then I delete one of the blocks. And I have to outrun the sand that's falling. Because it will destroy the entire world. And I have to try and reach a village and survive from there. But obviously since the desert villages don't have all the items required... Like, they don't have wood and stuff. I am going to have to cheat and give myself some stuff to make, like, cobblestone generators. And I'm going to give myself, like, one sapling. And, yeah. I'm pretty sure you get the point. But by the time I reach one of those villages and start to do stuff and, like, gather materials, the ground beneath me will probably all be gone. So I'm just going to have to survive in that village. Sort of like Skyblock Survival, but where you create your own map. Pretty much. What is up with my cursor when I look at the ground? I don't think it's supposed to do this. It's flashing all pink. Weird, but... Okay, well, I'm not sure how long I've been recording. I didn't really do anything good in this episode or make any real progress, but I'm going to have to call this an episode. I might just start the next episode from here, or I might start it when I find a village. I don't know. But that's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.